What's up, everybody? Michael here from Anchor Tech. And if you regret installing iOS 11 beta just because of bugs or anything, or just you want the stability of iOS 10, here is a guide on how to restore it. So all you need is a computer, iTunes, your Apple device that you want to restore that's running iOS 11 beta, and your Lightning connector. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the website in the description below and choose your uh, product. So in this case, I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus. Um, and you can choose each 10.3.2 uh, or 10.3.1. Um, this probably won't be signed for very long um, if you want to use an older software, but most people just want 10.3.2, so just click that and it will install it. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is get rid of that and turn your iPhone all the way off. Uh, slide the power off, all the way off, and on newer devices to make sure it's off, keep, keep clicking this button, and if you get your taptic feedback still, it is still technically on, and whenever it goes away, like it just did for me, it is off. So what you're going to want to do now is, um, well, you can go ahead and open iTunes and just keep that in the uh, area right here, but you want to hold on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. You need to hold the volume down on other devices. Just hold the home button um, as you plug it in. And you should, uh, sorry about the glare right here, you should enter recovery mode on your device like this, and it should look like this. So get your recovery mode phone, plug it in, and you should get this warning. Um, click cancel, and it says it's currently downloading software. Um, so let's cancel that. It automatically downloaded this. Um, but when, it's, when you uh, don't make the software download, um, on Mac, click Option, and I Windows, I click Shift, click this, there we go, <laughs> there we go, and then drag or just click the uh, software you want. It took me a while to do Option Click, I don't know why, it's probably just my issue, and it says your phone can't be updated, you need to restore, do iOS 3.1, 10.3.1, click Update, which is actually downgrading, um, but here we go, it will start extracting the software, and you will be able to recover your it's a firmware, so I'll be back with you when it is done. So once completed, it will give you a your phone has been updated screen and it will restart. Um, my phone has not restarted yet, but it will hopefully do that soon. So there you go. Once that updates, you will be on the firmware that you um, chose to install and verify passcode. Okay, so you have to type in your passcode twice and here's your data recovery so hopefully it will work if it doesn't no big deal um i would just not label this as a um keeping data tutorial but i'm pretty sure this shall work and i'll be back with you when this is done so as you can see when it completes it should start your iphone somewhat normally um with another boot bar so when we're done with this boot bar, I will be right back with you. So when this loading screen is complete, we should be done. The iPhone is connected to the computer, as you just heard the sound, and you'll need to type in your passcode to enable Touch ID. So let me do that. Your update was completed. Click Continue. Get on your Wi-Fi, and um, you really need to type in your iCloud password. Let me do that real quick real quick so when you type in your iCloud thing you should get your iCloud settings and you know you're definitely on the old firmware um, by the dots back in the um, corner as well as the old battery so that's basically how you downgrade your iDevice to um, iOS 10 again and I will have more uh, upgrade videos and downgrade videos as the betas come out so be sure to subscribe to check out some more videos and I will see you guys in the next video. So just to verify guys, here is the old firmware on my device. Uh, everything is still loading. We do have the old control center and everything. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll see you in the next video.